All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. There is only begun, Son, Yahweh, Shah, man. Peace and blessings to you, beloved, in the new covenant. And no, I'm not using a restroom, okay? Because I know somebody in the background scoffing. You just gave it away, nigga. No, I'm playing. But peace and blessings to you, brothers and you sisters. Um, I stumbled across a major jewel, man. I'm reading Luke 10 and 11 in that new cub, man, the new testament. And Yahweh Shai was cooking the lawyers. He was cooking the Pharisees. He was cooking everybody, man. So this is a cut to all you Israelites, men and women, trying to limit knowledge, trying to put it in a box, you know, trying to go backwards with it and all kinds of nonsense. Let's get Luke 11 and 52, man. Woe unto, woe unto you lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye entered not in yourselves, and them that are that were entering in, ye hindered, man. All right? So let's get who the lawyers are. The Greek word is uh, nomikos, pertaining to the law. The law of what? Moses. One learned in the law. The law of what? Moses. And the new covenant, the new testament, an interpreter and teacher of the Mosaic law, right? Keeping the Passover, not committing the adultery, day of atonement, jubilee, the whole nine, right? Now, when you take away the key of knowledge, all right. First of all, to have a to have a key, the Greek word is kleis or kleis, man. Since the keeper of the keys has the power. To open and shut. Who has the keys? Yahweh Shah. But metaphorically in the New Covenant definition B. To denote power and authority of various kinds. So these Pharisees. All you Israelites. Men and women. Including you guys. And women. Who may profess. The New Testament. You take away knowledge. You take away. Uh, basically growth. You don't want beloveds to glide like a dove. You don't want them. To process information simply. And y'all like to gaslight. Men and women, because you have a limited understanding, you have a limited perception. And a lot of men and women in the truth are very childish. Don't let these brothers and sisters hinder your growth, man. Because Yahweh Shai said they themselves don't even enter. And just like in uh in Matthew. They don't they don't even uh open the kingdom, but to prevent to uh forbid, to hinder, to deny or refuse one one thing, man. Alright. So a lot of you Israelites, right, speaking humbly, you always prevent the glow from coming out. Well, you try to due to your limitations, because a lot of you guys don't want to go through the proper training and fire to become solid. So, for example, what I'm doing, knowledge on sexual aphrodisiacs, y'all try to hinder that and be like, oh, that's not in the gospel. Well, why you? Why you focus on the lust of the flesh, not understanding context. The lust of the flesh is talking about adultery, which is smashing another man's woman. I'm not talking about that. Fornication, which is unlawful sex. I'm not talking about that either. Just simple A, B, C, one, two, three, milk information. A lot of you men and women, like Bishop always says, due to your hangups. A lot of you men and women behind closed doors, man, humbly speaking, you gotta put off those old habits and all these things mentally. In order to in order to stop hindering yourself. See? And as he said these things unto them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to urge him vehemently, right? Being uh matter of fact, I'm not I'm not gonna put words in the scriptures. To be uh vehemently is Danos is terribly grievously. See that? And to provoke him to speak of many things, right? Laying wait for him and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him. Oh, you said this. Well, you said it like that. Well, when you said this, you meant this. And, you know, just being niggas, man. Like, not trying to learn to understand. Just like, you know how Jake is, man. Jake will ask you a question just to argue. They'll just find something they don't understand or they don't agree with or what they think contradicts itself. And try to start an argument from there. Wasting 30 minutes or 30 years of their time, man. When they could have just... Glowed up and had the kingdom. Why? Because they took away the key of knowledge, man. Knowledge doesn't come in just... That's As a matter of fact, that's one of the gifts, man. I might have to get that. But the key of knowledge, man. 
Knowledge signifies in general intelligence, understanding, not confusion in uh, theories and dogmas, man. The general knowledge of Christian religion, which we know this is a heritage, we know is deeper than knowing you're an Israelite by nationality and bloodline. Uh, and even if you can't prove you're an Israelite, you still believe in Yahweh Shah, which makes you a Christian. The deeper, more perfect, more perfect and enlarged knowledge of this heritage, right? And there's a Greek word, religion or religio, which means worship. A lot of people in the world don't understand the difference between actual bloodline nationality in uh, these man-made religions. A lot of unbelievers, they get caught up in the words and not studying history, because history is very important when it comes to reading the scriptures. I know a lot of brothers and sisters don't teach on history, which is why there's a lot of confusion. And like the scriptures just say, they they uh, they hinder the key of knowledge, man. They don't bring this stuff out, so it's leaving people confused. But such as belongs, to the more advanced man the, the brothers and sisters who are able to digest meat well a lot of stuff i bring out is spiritual meat but yet it's very simple definition c especially of things lawful and unlawful for christians especially israelites because we were given the law moral wisdom right you have a moral you're not gonna you're gonna have integrity man when when, when you know when the door is closed the stuff you're doing behind closed doors even when it comes to marriage anything you think of man the moral wisdom goes a long way. That's how you glow. And that's what that's what I call shoddy vibes. FYI. Such as is seen in right living. So knowledge and, and the word for knowledge is also science, man. What I'm always talking about, science, man. Alright? You have to take the time to read up on things, man. You know, I don't like to stay in one dimension. I want to know what Yahweh Shah has created so I can enjoy it. Joyfully, man. The scriptures say we didn't worship him in joy and in truth. You can worship the Lord. Like, thank you, Lord, for creating this, these herbs and creating this woman, creating this cloud, whatever. Like King David used to always would always say in the Psalms, man. Like the Most High, he would always praise the Most High for his creation, man. Of how intricate and how delicate he made it. But you got to have the Holy Spirit. So Luke 11, 11 and fifty two again. Woe unto you lawyers, you that's learned, learned in the law, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge, right? The power and authority of knowledge, right? Knowledge is power, correct? Ye entered not in yourselves. So you didn't even take the time out to study to show that stuff to prove. You didn't take the time out to train your mind mentally. And them that were entering in, ye hindered. No, I don't believe that. Don't only go right here. Only go to this precept. Right, precept uh, uh, pamphlets, man. Can't be doing that, man. So, was it First Corinthians twelve, I believe? Yeah. So First Corinthians twelve, I'm gonna jump to four. Now there are the now there are diversities diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And one of them, you go to verse eight, First Corinthians twelve and eight. So these Israelites that were in Corinth. And it's the same thing happening now. They were arguing and bickering. And brother, you ain't doing this. On top of that, a lot of these brothers, which is where, which is where you get porn from, pornea, they were, you know, participating probably in orgies and all kinds of nonsense, phallus worship, Aphrodite, Bacchus. There's nothing new under the sun. That's what's so beautiful about the scriptures. Side note, but let me slow down. 1 Corinthians 12 and 8. For to one is given by the spirit, the word of wisdom, to another, the word of knowledge by the same spirit, man. Right? So that's one of the gifts. And it's the same thing with the parable of the talents. All right? Let brothers and sisters flow in the spirit. I like to actually just listen. All right? Listen and read for myself. You know, I don't know everything. I never want to be in a spirit. I don't want to have a preeminent spirit. I want to be uh, in order myself, financially, mentally, Basically complete in all phases myself so I can actually walk this walk and enjoy man and uh see the heavens. Luke eleven and fifty two for the third time. Go well, unto you lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye enter not in yourselves, and them that were entering in ye hindered, man. So like the scriptures say when it comes to wisdom, right? Wisdom's gonna suffer with you, she's gonna torment you. What to prove you, man? Our mama, our mother. All right, Sirach 6, you want, you, nobody wants to 
in a common sense world be effed over and just you know slimed out so it's the same thing in this walk man all right knowledge the lord can teach you how to take care of your physical temple how to fast how to pray how to defeat the enemies the heavenly father through his son the holy spirit you know he'll always give you drops on people if you're diligent um being sincere you know um all these things knowledge how to keep the law you know what laws to keep what you know the new covenant right the law of Hamashiach, you got the law of faith <laughs> you got and all these things come all of these things come from the lord all right but don't be hindering beloveds especially uh if it's on point man but that was a quick word i wanted to bring out i gotta go get some uh detergent and something else man but y'all beloveds be easy peace and blessings and shalom